like a like a bag of like mushrooms. Ooh. I take said bag of mushrooms. Right? You take said <laughs> okay. You take said bag of mushrooms. Cargo, ahead. you want some? Uh, no, Cargo want big dude's teeth. Hold on. <laughs> oh, no. He, he punched me first. That's a trope. Oh no. I'm sorry. Oh no. I love it. <laughs> um, how would you like to remove the teeth? I'm just we're just gonna yank them out. There's gotta be something like it. You know, I mean, you could bash cool. him out or you could yank him out. I want to. I want to yank them out. Oh, okay. Are you using any tools to yank it out, or is there anything nearby? I'll grab something. I mean... Um. It's, oh god. While this is happening, I'm just gonna like turd the farmer around. <laughs> <laughs> is that uh, seeing? You know, I can't think of any possible tools that would be around in the bar. Sorry. Uh, you just okay, I'll, to... just, I'll just punch him out then. That's fine. You're gonna punch him out? Okay, cool. Uh, go. I. You... Do you take your time to do so? Are you taking uh, 20 to move this man's Are we team? in a hurry? No, I just, I'm asking. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll take my time. <laughs> now you take your time. Um, I'm assuming you're not intending to remove every freaking single tooth, as that would be uh, arduous and hand. slippery. Yeah, just a handful. Uh, just, just <laughs> <laughs> you remove this man, the two, you, you remove his two front teeth, because they're the All easiest right. to grab with your stubby fingers. All right, two teeth. Put it on my, my chart here. All two right. human teeth, right? Two human teeth. Um, and you just snap those bad boys right up. And there you and, go. Uh, while this is happening, I'm going to talk to the farmer and say, the cut, let's go. Fork it over. Fork it over. He's like, my, you guys keep saving my butt. <laughs> um, he, he has, uh, he has about like, um, he hands, he like, he, he like looks through his bag and he's like, <laughs> uh, and uh, he, he he sort of like counts out a whole bunch of stuff. Takes him like three minutes to count everything out, uh, and then he hands you um, he hands you about seventy five gold. And I just did a sense motive. Like, can I see that this is like a genuine cut, or is he withholding? Um. Yeah, this is uh, this is this is as far as you can tell a genuine cut. Okay. But I mean, how can you really really know? Yeah. No, you know what? I'm kind of well, done with this farmer guy. I kind of want to get rid of him. I mean, how can you really know? I could knock him out and we could check his <laughs> We could check his <laughs> I kind of want to get him. I kind of, hmm, I don't, I don't want to intimidate him. Or maybe I do. I kind of want to say, like, you should probably get out of town because there so, are going to so like be. So, <laughs> friendly, like a friendly intimidation. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, they're probably going to know you were involved and they're probably going to come back for you. you uh, and he's like, I'm already gone. Right on. <laughs> As you're doing business with you, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna shake the man's hand. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, so you guys managed to um, to get into the underbelly of the city. Uh, Apothecary Jimmy, what a guy. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, what are you guys like? Where are you guys um, headed? I don't know. I think I kind of want to like get another drink and chill out in this empty bar and enjoy this victory. Buddy uh, <laughs> rides in pain, missing his teeth. Awesome. Uh, and about like about 10 minutes after the, all the sounds sort of stop, um, the bartender comes back up. People start rearriving. Uh, <laughs> you don't have too much long in an empty, in this empty bar. Uh, they sort of like leave the bodies on the ground. Um, <laughs> and those guys are out for a while. The, 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 you guys are still there and hanging out without any trouble. I punch pretty hard. <laughs> you punch pretty hard. Beautiful. Um, do you guys just drinking and hanging out? Uh, is that is that all the plan is? Or did you have any uh, other? Let's just have maybe one more drink and head back. How's that sound, Cargo? Sound good. Uh, <laughs> remind me tomorrow. We've gotten in two fist fights now. Cargo needs paradox. <laughs> <laughs> we shall hit the market tomorrow. <laughs> uh, wonderful. Okay, so you guys managed to uh, to go ahead and do with that. Um, and you head right back on over eventually after you're, after you're drinking. Um, you had uh, had a wonderful tussle, um, some badass magic missiles, um, some hilarious bottle swinging, <laughs> and you guys, <laughs> you guys called it a night. Um, so now you're back uh, back over there at uh, I, I suppose the inn that they already reserved spots for you guys. Yeah, it was because you made it in time. I assume yeah, you don't want to stay. Yeah, I'm assuming you don't want to stay at that inn. No, no. I mean, the whorehouse, though. Probably not the best. Of oh, now you're talking. <laughs> uh, I mean, where, where are you always going to go? I mean, it's up to you. I, I, I'm just following Locke. All right. Yeah, I'll go back because I'm not one to go for a whorehouse. But uh, if Cargo were to say something, 
I would follow him. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, onward over back home um, with a good rest we all have. Uh, I don't think anyone actually got really damaged. Did you guys? I think I took it, one punch right? for two subdual. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, yeah, you sleep that off pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's non it's non lethal, so yeah, that's that's good. Um, so you guys uh, sort of wake up in the morning. Um, uh, Peter, Peter, Peter the knave. Uh, you wake up to find sitting on the bed next to your head is a sort of weird, gangly, pointy-eared thing with black eyes. And he looks at you excitedly. Right, so I'm a bit surprised by his being there, but as he's there, I, I start making good on the offer. I, you know, stand up and head over my pack, and uh, while getting out food for him, I, I ask, so who are you? Me? I'm Gangelspleck. Gangelspleck. Yes. I repeat. Um, what are you doing here? Getting food. I mean, right. I mean, more generally, like, why are you in this city, Gangelspleck? How do you come to be here? I hand him a bit of cheese. Uh, he grabs the cheese and he begins to nibble it and is delighted by the experience in his mouth. Um, it seems to be incredible for him. Um, he says, ah, well, I mean, there's food all over the place here. Out there in the woods and things, I gotta hunt something and there's food all over the place here. Okay, can I do a knowledge check to like figure out what kind of beast this is? Um, yeah, go ahead. Um, what kind of knowledge would this be? Um, what kind of knowledge does G have checked? Yeah, everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can worry about, um, it depends on what way you want to attack this knowledge, if that makes any sense. You could be attacking this knowledge, uh, in the idea that it would have, um, you might be able to discern some kind of magic ability and therefore sort of remember something in that way. Uh, you could attack this knowledge in the hopes that um, you've heard local knowledge or, or legends or, or rumors about it. Um, you could attack this in the way that you're looking for possibly um, a, uh, you're looking for like a, um, a religious thing. Maybe he's some sort of like God or underling. Uh, if you have knowledge beasts or creatures or animals. Uh, I, I have nature. Would that be helpful or? Um... Nature is looking for more specifically things that derive from nature. Magical beasts sadly do not fall in that category. I don't okay. think this is normal. <laughs> All right, we'll go to Arcana then. Okay, Arcana, go for it. There you go. Uh, rolling with the Arcana. Okay, so you are um, you you sort of have some vague idea that there are many sort of weird creatures that live all over the place. Some of them are recluse, um, and uh, some of them are not. Um, you don't recognize uh, this thing particularly, but it's definitely clearly magical um, and in tune with uh, at least uh, wood as an element. So it might be um, sort of something that has to do with um, the forests and things like that, because uh, he clearly, clearly closed the wall. <laughs> using using magic um so yeah uh, that's that's all you really determine from this guy you don't really know too much sadly unless you want to do a bardic knowledge check oh gosh i had that um sure let's do that okay yeah you can roll your bardic knowledge check um you've got like i don't know a bunch of those a day uh basically you just roll i think it should be I don't know, how the hell does bardic knowledge work? It's one of the most OP things in the game. Do, do, do. Where's the rules? Where's my bard? That's my bards. All right, um, bardic knowledge. Picks up a lot of stuff. Um, so, do you have, how many ranks do you have in uh, knowledge history? Okay, one sec. Uh, knowledge history, I have uh, six ranks. Sweet, you get a plus two on this check. Cool. Um, your intelligence modifier and your bard level, so you're four plus your intelligence modifier, right? Uh, intelligence modifier is a three. Okay, so you get seven plus two, which is nine, so roll a d20 plus nine. Okay. 
Here comes the G20. There you go. Plus nine. Sweet. Um, you uh, you become quite aware that um, this uh, this creature is an old creature. Um, it used to be uh, sort of so what they called is a uh, sort of forest kin. There were sort of these weird, almost like goblins, but they behave much more civilly. Um, and they just sort of mo mo mainly live in forests. They they mostly mind their own business, and it's not really common to see one in a city. Um, this one must be an odd one of the group. Okay, I give him some more food and ask him how long he's been here. Uh, he's, ah, I've been here for, for two months. It's awesome. <laughs> two months. Um, would you mind me taking you along to meet some of my friends? He says, friends. They have food. He looks at you and says, I don't have friends. Right, yeah, you don't, I do. You, you have a food benefactors, like me. I give you food, they'll give you food too. Um, he seems very wary of this. Uh, would you like to do a diplomacy check? To perhaps uh, um, sure. sort of scooch him on over to uh, to thinking that you're you're good? I mean, I've given him a lot of food already. It's come for something, but here we go. Diplomacy check 15. Um, he's, he's already on the verge of wanting to believe you. Um, 15 is fine enough for him to sort of go, okay, but where? Where? Um, just down the hall. In here already. Um, I think just two doors down from here. Nice woman. She has lots of food also. Jerky. Uh, right. The, the root jerky. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. When? Um, let's say 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. Okay, all right. Be there. Be there, yes. Uh, he sort of walks over to the wall and sort of drags his finger across the wall uh, and makes a sort of like rectangle and then sort of like pushes into the wall and sort of like makes a makes a little door and he goes in it and then like the the door goes e e e inches forward and then closes again and then uh it seems to like weld shut again hmm. i say weld but you know what i mean <laughs> sure uh, what is everybody else doing am i waking up uh, no yeah you guys, you guys are getting up figuring out how we can keep this thing to get into places <laughs> Well, I'll wake up and do my normal wake up routine, that sort of stuff. Okay, uh, you wake up, you do your praying, um, you hang out in there, um, and uh, put my gear back on, and that's putting your gear back. You, you go back over to your pack, and you notice it's it seems that some of your pockets have been opened. Um, there seems to be crumb on, crumbs on the floor, um, like a wrapping for one of your rations is just like on the ground. Mm. That's always fun. Can I check the door? Uh, yeah. Uh, did you lock it last night? Uh, no, probably not. It remains unlocked. It's probably a dumb thing to do. Um, so I yeah. Uh, yeah. What about you, uh, Cargo and Lock? What are you, what are you guys doing? Are you looking for your friends? Or are you just chilling in your rooms, counting I your gold? I'll, I'll do my, uh, my thing of uh, you know the three S's, uh, shit shower and shine my teeth collection. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go outside and take a look around now that it's daylight. Maybe I can actually see what's happening, see what's in front of me. Awesome. Um, yeah, it, it's uh, it's a very interesting town. Uh, lots of built out of uh, seems to be sandstone. Some of it. A lot of the buildings seem to be like large blocks of sandstone. Um, some just regular marble or or you know stuff you'd get out of a quarry. Um, but uh, yeah, the 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 roads are mostly uh, just hard packed dirt and uh, gravel. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a fine entrance way into the place. Uh, it's, it's not bad. It's a beautiful morning. Um, the clouds are gone. The, the, the sort of groggy weather is, is gone. It's sort of warming up uh, already in the morning. Uh, the sun on your face is already already making you feel nice and toasty. So, is there, Miani, any, like, uh, is there any like vendors around? Like just, you know, people casually walking around selling fruit, 
food, things like that. Oh yeah, yeah. There's some vend. There's a there's a few vendors on the entrance way, but most of them are over there at the marketplace. There's okay. a, some a few fruit senders right there in the entrance way though. Right, I'm gonna just buy some fruit, toss a gold coin back. Cool. That's my breakfast. Right. Uh, you managed to get yourself um, some some nice nice pears. Nice. You got a couple of pears. Toss the gold. Sweet. Yep. So, uh, Miani, uh, as you're praying, um, I imagine you're praying like maybe near your pack or near your stuff or maybe against your bed. Where are you praying? Uh, probably up against the wall where I'd put my shield. Okay, up against the wall where you put your shield. Um, as you're sort of uh, sitting there, um, make a uh, spot check as you're praying. Spot your checks. Ah, there's the spot check. 18. Beautiful. Wonderful. 18. Um, you, without a doubt, in the middle of your praying, even with your eyes closed, you, you kind of like feel a thing next to you and you sort of like open your eyes and you turn to the side next to the wall and uh, there seems to be a circle missing from the wall uh, with a really weird face with black eyes staring out of you and a big grin. I detect evil. Uh, you detect evil. Um, You don't detect inherent evil here. I sense motive. Uh, you don't detect inherent evil here. Um, you sense motive, go ahead and sense your motives. Okay. Um, you, as far as you can tell with that nice 26 roll, um, that the inherent sort of attitude of this guy is sort of hard to gauge. He just smiles at you um, and when you're looking at him, he says, hi. Hi. Who are you? I'm Gangelspleck. And what are you doing in my room? I was told to be here. By whom? Uh... Uh... I'll be right back. O okay. Uh, he sort of like disappears out of the wall. Uh, the wood replaces um, and sort of welds back into the wall um moments after like not even not 10 minutes definitely not 10 minutes it's been like like i don't know almost a minute um uh you hear a knocking on the on the wall like the back wall i resorty oh sorry okay. resorty um i knock back <laughs> Um, a sort of like little little rectangle appears uh, and sort of like the wood falls out into the room uh, and he says, who are you? Um, I'm Peter. Why? Uh, I, thanks. Can, can I get that wood? <laughs> I reach down and hand the wood. Yeah. Uh, he puts it back in and it sort of seals up. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so what are you doing, Miani, in the, in the absence of this weird creature? I'm looking around the room for more holes and seeing if the crumbs lead to that hole. Um, the crumbs lead to a, a different part of the wall. Okay, I look at that different part of the wall. It seems to be a wall, <laughs> as far as you can tell. Okay. Um, uh, sort of like a like the that that circle sort of opens back up. Uh, do you walk over and look at it, or do you stay where you are? I'll look over and look at it. Okay, you walk over and look at it, and uh, this the weird head pops back out. It's sort of sparse and, and balding hair. I forgot to mention. Mm -hmm. Black eyes and pointy ears, and he says, Peter. What about him? <laughs> He's the one. Oh who, oh, who told you to come here? Yes. Why? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he, he, he replaces the wood. He replaces the wood. Uh, Peter, in the in the interim, what are you doing? I mean, I was getting dressed. So you're getting dressed? Yeah. Awesome. Um, so you see, like, as as you're like waiting, you know, getting dressed, uh, sort of like um, you hear hmm. behind you. Oh. I turn about very suddenly. Uh, you see the face um, of of this sort of like black eyed, sort of weird guy, and no. he's like he's like this. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All, all right, G Gengel Spleck, why don't you just like, come in and wait with me for a moment? <laughs> uh, he says, okay. Uh, <laughs> don't trust him. And he sort of like, he sort of makes a, like a little bit bigger of a, a hole in the wall and sort of like squeezes himself uh, uh, through it. Um, and then he starts playing with the two chunks of wood that he's taken out of the wall uh, and says, why am I going over there? <laughs> Uh, to meet my friends. I don't have friends. Right, not you. My <laughs> friends. <laughs> right. Why? I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Uh, but they have more food for you. More of that, uh, that, that soft stuff. No, probably not. I'm only that stuff. You have that stuff. Wait, which stuff? <laughs> the soft stuff. The jerky soft stuff? That's not very soft, is it? <laughs> no. No, uh, you gave it to me. It was, uh, yeah. it was good. It's good, yeah. Um, right, so no, they won't have any more of that. I have some of that for you, though, if you'd like some while you're waiting. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, with what, with one shoe on and the other one, um, where did you go? How uh, Eisenwolf I, of you? Uh, what? How Eisenwolf of you? One shoe on. Why? One, one shoe on. Cargill took his shoe in the first beginning of the game. I, oh I yeah, yeah, one shoe. Sorry. <laughs> Very confused. Um, so yeah, like an Eisenwolf, I go over and get a piece of cheese out of the bag and, and toss it on over to the, the cute little Gangelspleck. Gangelspleck, that's right. Um, yeah. So Gangelspleck is, he's like, he's taking small pits, bits of the cheese off and he's sort of like, <laughs> uh, savoring every, every ounce of this uh, sort of crumble of cheese you've tossed his way. Um, and he's, he's just making like, mm, mm, and he's smacking. He's, Oh, mm. As, like, he's wiggling his arms around. It's 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 a good time. Um, Miani, <laughs> weird dude has been poking his head into your room, and it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, he, I I know where Peter's room is, right? Yeah, you know where Peter's room is. Well, this guy told me that he was being sent here by Peter, and. Well, I decided to leave the room and go knock on Peter's door. Um, after you've mostly dressed yourself and there's been a lot of, mm, <laughs> um, you hear a knock at the door. Uh, Miani, you hear, mm, <laughs> uh, from the other side of the room. <laughs> I'll just wait for an answer. <laughs> Uh, so, Peter the Knave, how doth thou answer? Um, I just don't even know. <laughs> right, so, yeah, I go to open the door and, and throw it wide open and say hello. Hi. Um, on his bed, clearly, which is right in front of the door, like just a little bit farther back into the room, uh, there's this sort of weird guy with black eyes eating cheese, going, mm. um, he's very strange. Um, he's there though. <laughs> okay, um, uh, so he told me that you sent him? I thought he might like to meet you. <laughs> Miani, this is Gangelspleck. Gangelspleck, this is Miani. Hello. Yeah, hi. Mm. Were you the one who went through my pack and ate my jerky? Jerky? And yes. And my ration? Rations? Yes. <laughs> What's a ration? <laughs> <laughs> well, it would have been more polite if you would have asked first. I roll my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he seems confused. <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna leave you guys alone when somebody asked him to come back 
Um, so... <laughs> oh, gosh. Do you okay. need a moment um, to think? Sure. Okay. I, I pass. <laughs> uh, so, Murder Clock, um, and actually, Morphos, I haven't heard anything from you. What's, what's going on with you? Uh, if you guys want, like, I could wonder what you're up to at this point in the morning. Walk in your room and accidentally step on this thing. No. <laughs> no. Kango Spike is too awesome for that. <laughs> He'd probably sink into the floor and go. Mm. Right, well, well, then I, I will uh, I will go and try and find my compatriots uh, because uh, Cargo want breakfast. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure you know where the other two rooms are, but you go outside and you find. Yeah. Uh, I'll just check all the rooms. I don't care. <laughs> all right, so you begin knocking on the door. You find the first one next to you and you knock on it. Um, a uh, a sort of middle aged man, balding. Um, who seems very tired. Uh, he sort of got like this sort of um, rash that goes over the cross the top of his scalp. He says, Hello? Ah. He closes just, the door. You just shake my head and walk away. <laughs> next door. Next door. All right. You go to the <laughs> next door. door. You knock. All right. Uh, so a sort of greasy looking individual uh, in just a linen shirt uh, answers the door and he says yes who nope. are you <laughs> would you like to come next, in next, <laughs> nope, nope, next door nope all right all right um <laughs> so uh, you really you're gonna go to all the doors yeah all right next door um you go to the next door and, unless a sexy half orc opens one of them like then i might stay there there's no answer <laughs> the next door oh uh, well i just open it then all right you open it um murder did you leave anything in your room no i just i just like got ready to go all right it's as empty. if i'm just gonna go off my own maybe 100 no. <laughs> percent empty next room Next room. Okay. Uh, next room um, would be Miani's. Miani, you leave anything in your room? Um, no. Oh, well, I left the ration wrapper. All right. You you found uh, some crap on the floor. Oh, yeah. Next room. All right. Uh, so Murder Clock, you're eating your your apple, uh, pondering what your next move is. What is your next move? Uh, I'm gonna go to that market. Is it very far? Like, is, can I? No, it's it's like it? five minutes walk. Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna go head towards that market. See what's up. Awesome, awesome. Uh, do you guys know what you're doing with Gangelspleck yet? Any ideas? Um. <laughs> Gangelspleck is now licking his fingers uh, and making sad sounds. Seems oh, he's out of cheese. <laughs> so, did you like that jerky you had out of her pack? Ah, yes, yes, uh, yes. Root of life. Root, root of, of life. life. Okay. Why root of life? Yes, dried root of life. Why? Is so I don't know about. Please, yeah. Oh, uh, why is it called the root of life? Gives life. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> if I give you a ration and maybe a little bit of cheese with it, will you tell us more about the root of life? The soft stuff? Yeah, soft yes. stuff for you, big. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. I do as I've said and give him this and say, now, why is it the root of life? Um, he he, he takes the things from you and he, he's like. You got some rations, which is usually some dried bread, uh, some, some jerky, uh, sometimes some dried fruit. Uh, he takes some of it and he begins like stacking it in various places and smearing um, bits of the cheese on it. Um, and he, like he begins crafting himself like, I don't know, this little delicacy uh, in his hand there. Um, and he tells you, he just you know, idly tells you, oh, it's, it's the root of life. Uh, most people don't care too much about it, but it, it brings life to you uh, if you're sick or injured it helps most people think it's bad so they don't eat it they don't use it oh, so it's like a medicine herb yeah like a medicine herb 
Did it kill you when you ate it all last night? No. No. I didn't. I didn't need that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Thanks. <laughs> do you ever 